I laugh about it now, but it wasn't <laughs> funny at the time. Not really. No. No. <laughs> but that's, that's history uh, now, and I can do anything. Well, I can't anymore now, but after I was healed up, I could do anything that I had ever yeah. done before with that arm. Well, let's talk for a second about the, the one doctor who uh, Mom and I never met, but that was didn't have the right personality probably to be in the, I think he was the head of the therapy yeah. department. He told me in so many words that I would not use that arm again. <laughs> And I told him, I don't think you know who you're talking to. <laughs> I'll be back someday and walk up and down these halls on my hands. <laughs> and I did. In two years, I was back walking on my hands. But I worked on that for therapy for three years. <laughs> worked on it for three years. However, from the time of the accident, till I was doing all of my own farm work alone again was eight months. It did not go very well, but it did go. Yes. And while you were laid up, who did your work? I had a young man hired, Dave Peterson Jr., to do my uh, cattle work, the, the milking and so on. <clears throat> and the neighbors did my field work. Without them, I'd have been up the creek. Yes. Yes. But it was a losing year, that for sure. It was not good. <laughs> And then when you got home, uh, what did you do for therapy around the house? You didn't invest a lot in equipment. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> I made a little thing above the door. I screwed a screw up there and a little rope and a pulley. And <laughs> so if I pulled down with my left hand, my right arm had to go up. And that's the way I worked that. And... Uh, Oh, I had some other things that I did, uh, but I kept working on it constantly. <laughs> yes. Oh, a little, a little humor in there. The doctor thought I, when I could move my arm around, just lean forward and just swing that arm around like a wet noodle, round and round in a circle in front of you, and it would help if you had a weight in your hand. So I thought, well, this old flat iron will be just right. So I swing in that old flat iron around and around and right into my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was funny. <laughs> yep. And at, at some point the next year, they, they took the steel rod out. Uh, after about eight uh, months, they took oh, that rod okay. out. Yes. Yes. And then when you were back able to do your own farm work, uh, what extra effort or exercises did you go through to try to strengthen the arm? Like, didn't you say you, you pitched all the silage out by hand instead of using the yeah. unloader? Or, yeah, I, I did a lot of extra stuff just to get back in shape. <laughs> but I was in pretty good shape then. Mm -hmm. I was 51 years old, but... <clears throat> I was in good shape yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you did go back to St. Mary's and you were able to walk on your hands, you had occasion to run into or talk to the doctor who had been so negative. Yes. Who was looking at the, the different measurements of things that they did. And, and one of the tests that they did was they gave you something to squeeze with each hand to see how many yeah. pounds of pressure uh -huh. could, you could do. And your right hand, I think, was 90, you could squeeze 95 pounds, and the other, your left hand, maybe 110 or something. Yeah, yeah I don't so, really remember that, but you okay. do. Yeah, well, then the, the, this doctor was looking at it and said, well, 
your left arm is still stronger than your right arm. And you told him, my left arm is stronger than anybody in this hospital. <laughs> what do you contribute your, uh, or attribute your survival and remarkable recovery? Well, the first thing is to have the good luck to have that engine stop on that tractor. <laughs> But after that, it was pretty much determination <laughs> and keep working yeah. at it. I'm convinced that most people quit too soon. Mm. But I was never one to mm. give up too soon. Mm. Up until now. <laughs> <laughs> and and you, uh, did you get any get well cards while you were in the hospital? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I got a few a few cards and letters. <laughs> My biggest day was I got 52 cards in one day. <laughs> I think at first the nurses thought that they would tape, <clears throat> tape the cards up somewhere in the room. Yeah. That's what they did for other patients. And then when pretty soon there were so many they didn't know where to go with them, they gave up and they yeah. thought maybe they had a celebrity with them. Yeah. And that you even got fan mail after the article was in the newspaper. Uh, a, a lady wrote, wrote you a card and said she had broken her toe recently and was feeling sorry for herself. But then after she read the article about you, she went out and jogged a mile. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> yeah. It was quite an experience. I wouldn't want to go through it again, but I know how. I know how. Yes, and I'm quite proud of that. <laughs> yes. But why don't you show us what your arm looks like now? The arm looks pretty darn good now. The skin yeah. graft on yeah. both sides. Yep. <laughs> and that arm never bothered me. The weather never affected it. Nothing. <laughs> oh, and another thing, when I got home and I was on heavy medication and I ran out of these high-powered pills, so I called doctor in Janesville and told him that I wanted this prescription refilled. And he looked at that and he says, I'm not going to refill that. <laughs> that doctor in Milwaukee is going after this like he's using a fire hose. <laughs> I says, well, he's the man that's been keeping me alive. I'm going to talk to him. So I called him. Yeah, he says, I know that's what they say. But when they get a patient they can't do anything with, they take him to me. <laughs> so I got my pills. I was on heavy medication for three years. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been through the mill a little.